as one becomes more in alignment with their overself, which simply is their pearl essence, they slowly start to become a witness to other realities that their essence holds an overview of. Signals of light will start to descend into the energetic field of the incarnate by ways of parapsychic abilities, known today as language of light. As one aligns themselves more and more with their higher mind and angelic DNA, they will notice their transhuman nature evolving, transforming themselves from an earthly mortal into an immortal being that is part earth and part heaven. They will start to realize that all of this information and the messages that they have been given are not from another personality, but it is simply their own ability to tap into these higher realms and pierce the shadow veils of illusion that once surrounded them. It is only when one truly knows themselves can they fully transcribe these higher frequency signals known by the label today as light language. It is through these signals that higher frequencies, which are not comprehensible by the mortal mind, will communicate higher divine wisdom to the brain, which aids in upgrading the human circulatory system for their higher self merging and transformation. This can occur because the signals of light, which is the crisis light of their own spirit, anchors directly into the human cells. It is from this process that there begins a soul evolution, which breaks that barrier of space and time by way of a higher mind awakening. For the mortal is no longer fully mortal in the sense that it is not anchored nor operating from the mortal mind mainframe, known as the ego. It is during this stage that the veils appear fuzzy and static as they will slowly dissolve to allow interdimensional doorways and messengers to appear. When I was a scribe of the Shekinah Codex, the divine sapphire light was poured over my light body as I was within the garden and this light solidified as light codes and angelic signals of the seraphim. All souls are coded with light codes, which simply is their own language of light from their spirit. It is from these very codes that I am able to encode the beads upon my seraphim malas for the initiate who receives it. This is part of my divine mission as they work with this mala, this light emits from the beads as gold dust onto the codes held within their own light body. This light is pure Christos honey that allows their own dormant Christos codes to awaken. This is when the initiate who works with these malas starts to sing, chant, speak, draw, and have visions of light language. This is also why those of you who have worked with my malas will see sparkles of light around you. Even if you do not work with the malas, simply reading the divine pearl code books, which are codexes, you will also see these light signals around you. Light language is a higher organic angelic language used to send and receive signals of light through all realms and worlds of creation. This is a webbing of free-floating thought forms that feed into an unlimited cognitive space to be transcribed by ways of geometrics of light. When one speaks light language, golden biogeometric shapes emit from their field. Some walk around unconsciously emitting these signals. These are typically healers, grid workers, and other incarnated masters of light. When one receives messages of light, they are decoded into an earthly language. They will notice how the sentence is ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. This is because earth language is separated into a linear fashion that produces constant pauses and breaks 
within the unlimited cognitive space of existence. As one raises their vibrational field, they will see this static raining down around them. This is simply static's syntax of the collective consciousness. Syntax is simply the arrangement of the earth language. It appears as static to those of clairvoyance due to its linear fashion and consciousness breakage of the earthly matrix mainframe. It is because of this that those from the hierarchy of light descended into human form to be a teacher of light language so that the mortal mind of man can expand and connect to other worlds and realms of creation, generating the very thought symbols connecting the consciousness of man to the universal Metatronic mind. As you use Christos light language and not the misuse of light language as man has done repeatedly, you start to create a linkage with your higher sparks of light that reside in those higher dimensional worlds. The more you connect with your spirit and actively anchor your own crisis light within your cellular structure, it creates a bridge of light between your cells of your physical earthly body and those light sparks that reside in the higher worlds. This eventually will create a strong chamber of light, which scientists label as black holes in space. This becomes your very own gateway used for you to ascend into the celestial academies that some teach today as cities of light. This is how interdimensional travel can be used, and this is why it is something that is unknown how the mechanics of it works within time and space. It is during this next stage that the initiate will have more out-of-body sensations as they are attending their transitioning celestial classes. At first, the initiate is not fully comprehensible of their attendance as their energetic bodies are slowly molding themselves into the same ionization blueprint of plasma light. It is the next stage that the initiate will become fully aware via their non-physical senses of this celestial academy schooling. This is the stage that most call ascension when it is simply a transcendial stage of an earthly mortal initiate. When you reach the stage of mastery, you would be able to walk between all worlds. You're able to come and go from this world and the celestial academy. This is how I am able to go there, receive information via light language and other sacred ways to then come into this reality as many masters of light have done throughout existence and create these teachings, create these books, create these videos, create physical, tangible items that you can use to help yourself expand to hopefully move past your physical stage and ascend your form into the next one to two octaves of vibration so that you too can move on into this next stage of your journey. In this Shekinah Codex, we reference ancient Kabbalah teachings from Israel Sarex, who says, Traces of the divine light adhered to the fragments of the broken vessel, vessels like sparks. And when the fragments descended to the bottom of the fourth and last world, they produced the four elements. And when all these became completely materialized, some of the sparks still remain within. Therefore, it should be the aim of everyone to raise these sparks from where they are imprisoned in this world and to elevate them to holiness by the power of their soul. Also within the Shekinah Codex, we teach that since your light sparks are seated within these elemental compositions, 
and you can understand that one's purpose is to anchor more of their intellect, which simply is your spirit, in order to increase the vibrations of these compositions. It is by way of these elements that the mortal compound can transform. It is the intellect that can transform volcano rocks into sapphires. But all eruptions start with magma. This is a coded teaching, meaning that magma is your Christos light. The volcanic rock is your dense earth, that earthly body that you currently reside in. When you transform it into sapphire, sapphire, blue Christos light. Christos light is blue in the highest of the highest world, which is simply that blue flame that is taught as a sword of Michael. That blue flame that ignites within your very cells because those very cells, that light is what is the intellect, which is one of the God source that you simply are an emanation of. But you must know this, stand in this light as unification and know that you are abundant of this light and that will become that volcano that bursts with inside of you, that makes you your own flame. And that is how you can use that light to become the phoenix and rise, 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 rise. Sapphires are the wisdom of the intellect coded within your very own DNA, which remember is multidimensional. It is by way of DNA that wisdom can be accessed. DNA is multidimensional because its very compositions are itself densified light from your own spirit tree within the garden of gardens. This connection is by way of a light thread, that diamond light thread, The sparks from the sapphire tree are placed in a specific celestial human body known and taught in Hebrew as Adam. This was, excuse me, this was a body created to house the vibrational elements of the sapphires. It is through the DNA activation of the incarnate that the flow of the Shekinah can enter this realm. That is the flow of the blue flaming light. That is what burns through you. You must see this light and feel it, but only you can ignite it. Nothing or no one outside of you can ignite it except you. But the key here is to first discover and understand your own spark, which only you have access to and only you can do. This will then emit as ambers into flames that will show you the way home, show you the way to ascend. The pathway once taught in ancient mystery schools as the pathway of the blue flaming sword. (laughs) 